Okay. Now. Previously on Texan Picker. What? After a real busy night of finding great stuff, I came across this awesome load with this Louis Vuitton purse and a bunch of shoes. There's no way this is real. But I forgot to show you guys the shoes, so hang tight to the end of the video and you'll see it. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll put a link in the description here so you guys can go back and watch the whole thing. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone But there's gonna be some sunshine today folks because we are doing a day time picking video So hope you guys are enjoying these videos that I'm putting out for you guys I um, want to thank you guys for joining back and for those who are here for the first time welcome to the channel Don't forget to hit like hit that subscribe button down there if you guys are enjoying let me know that we're doing a good job And let's do it guys. Hope you find some good stuff today it's been a, been a while since we've done a daytime video and looks like we might be coming up. What do we got over here? No, it's just a printer. Oh no, that's a sentry box. Hold on a second. Let's see what that is. Put this baby in park real quick. Let's see if this guy's the key to it. No key. Without the key, you really can't do nothing with this. Don't see the key anywhere. No. Well, guys, what do y'all think? Should I've gotten that safe? Didn't have the key. And um, I really don't think there's much we could do with that safe without a key. Anyways, like I said, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And let's hope we can find some goodies for y'all tonight. Or today. Whew. What do we got over here? Don't want none of that. It's pretty nice. Right. Here's all the shoes. By the time you see this video, you would have seen these shoes. Because it might be in the same video. We'll see. Ooh. Let's see. Mysterious boxes. Uh, paperwork. Paperwork. Oh, it. It'd be nice if we could find a Nintendo. Looks like this is all we're gonna have today. Walking around the zoo. I might take that one. That one looks like it's got some flashcards and stuff. these books and stuff in here there's a lot of other stuff in here but I don't think oh yeah baby this is good right here packet supplies didn't see anything in here Oh, 
here. Nope. Peg supplies are always good. Alright, I was driving by and I saw all these blankets. So, I'm going to take these blankets with us. Look like some backpacks or something. Wow. Got some Hot Wheels tracks. Pass that up, guys. Alrighty, folks. Well, that's pretty much going to cut it for today. Um, we didn't get really anything. Um, as you can see, got that tote, a couple bags, and hot wheel stuff. Very slow day indeed. But what I'm going to do right now is um, I'll kind of show you a little bit of the stuff that was in there. Not really much. Um, I've got a few boxes uh, that I'm going to take to. Um, Forgotten Angels uh, get that stuff donated uh, early this morning I actually went uh, to a homeless shelter and dropped off two big bags of clothes as soon as I got off of work so it looks like it's just gonna be one of those type of days where we just find stuff to donate because I'm not gonna keep none of this I'll probably just donate it all and um, shortly after I show you this stuff uh, we'll show you those shoes so if you're interested in those shoes hang tight but we'll start right here and actually I forgot about this thing <laughs> the first thing that we found uh, it's a piece of wall decor I don't know I guess I can keep it try to get maybe 10 bucks for it also have this little box of Hot Wheels stuff it's nothing complete I'll just donate that too. got the little truck and a couple of different random parts so I'll just donate that little box Um, those are the box. This thing has like learning tools, um, some numbers, letters, and apparently this was a uh, learn how to speak Spanish. Leapfrog, Spanish. So again, I don't think I'm gonna try to sell into this. I'm just gonna donate all of it. There's more stuff in here, more tools. This little bag's got like some kind of map with like little cars and stuff like that little boats that's all going uh the only thing i think i'm going to end up keeping is these little puppets they're from uh from the emirates airline i guess they hand these out to kids that are flying on the planes and some of these you can actually look up they sell for decent money six to ten dollars each so if i load them all up together and i got i don't know 20 bucks i'd be happy on ebay that's pretty cool bag of looks like mostly clothes might be might be uh i mean mostly blankets from what i could tell i didn't want to open up the bag it looks like a blanket here another blanket here maybe some clothes uh this one here was a bunch of backpacks and then of course we did fight uh, we did excuse me we did find the bubble wrap so that's a good win i use i've been shipping a lot on ebay so this is going to come out to be real helpful anytime um, i can find bubble wrap and shipping supplies uh take advantage of it and it's funny because i was just talking to somebody just a couple days ago uh one of my uh one of you uh viewers made a comment about picking up this stuff and and here we go pretty good size roll Thank you. 
All right guys, so here are all the shoes. As you can see, it's about, about 15 pairs of shoes or so that uh, we're gonna go through. Oh, and here's the boxes that we're gonna end up taking along with the stuff that I found today. So it's a, not a big haul. Usually I fill up the whole truck, but uh, that's all I got right now. So let's go through these shoes. We've got a pair of Spirit Moda, size seven and a half. Nice blue color. Um, these are called, I don't know. I might even try to pronounce that. What is it? Bonnabelle? Yeah, so they're like sandals, I guess. I don't know what these shoes are. I'm just going to go through them. I'm not even trying to act like I know what I'm talking about. So uh, these are Antonio Milani. Antonio Milani. Doesn't seem to be anything special, but it's funny because sometimes these ones that don't look special are the ones that are worth the most money. Um, I got two pairs in here. These are Aldo. I've seen this store before. So we got Aldo shoes. And you've got Morona. I think these are cheap uh, shoes, these Moronas. Size 7. So got those out the way. Let's see. This is BCB Girls. What do y'all think? I don't think I would look good in these, but maybe one of y'all might. They're size 8M, whatever that means. Medium. That's that. We've got a bunch of these that say Jessica Simpson on it. So, just through them got this pair of Jessica Simpson shoes these are very unique huh alrighty box number two for Jessica these are more of a normal style shoe number three for Jessica these look to be a little bit more beat up but it looks like this stuff can just rip off and you can trim it off so I don't know and I don't know if these have a name oh I guess they do have a name so those are those. I guess that's what that would look like with the little straps more pulled out. You got that one. Oh, these are kind of nice. They're, little, they're tore up though. So I don't even know if these are worth anything with them being like that. But if you guys want them, let me know. I just don't want to come out of pocket on the shipping. That's the only thing I really care about. Those aren't bad looking. Oh yeah. Miami green. 
So what do y'all think? Do you think this guy maybe got mad at his girl and threw all her stuff away? Or maybe she was just cleaning out her closet and didn't want the stuff anymore. And these are nice here, these polos. Like a plaid. No, I guess these are men's. I don't think these are women's, huh? 11D. Yeah, I think these are men's. Yeah, they're men's. And I'll look inside of them just in case I find some money because I met this guy uh, at a garage sale who said he found $5,000 in a pair of shoes. He had gone to a garage sale here in my neighborhood and uh, I must have been working because I didn't even see it. And someone had a bunch of shoes for sale and uh, she had them at two dollars a pair or something like that or something crazy all in boxes and he bought every single pair and found five grand inside those shoes i could not believe it i was sick to my stomach because that could have been mine <laughs> not that i would have bought the shoes but who knows and being that it was my neighbor i would have given the money back just because you know yeah i knew exactly where it came from these nikes are nice Seven and a half Nike Flex. And here's this last pair. Oh yeah, these ones had Lisa already. Let me see. I don't even know where to put this. So, Air Max. These are gonna be men's. Yeah, eleven and a half. They're too small for me. So I guess that guy really wasn't Magnum. I wore 13, so these are definitely too small. All right. Well, guys, and there it goes. Um, sorry I didn't get to get the shoes on that first video, but hopefully you guys are logging into the second video and finding the shoes. And if you got any questions about them, feel free to uh, send me an email. Um, I'll put the email in the description also if you don't catch it in the video. So, yep, pretty quiet day for picking. Um, I was kind of surprised because that is the honey hole that I go to that I always find good stuff. But it goes like that sometimes. That just means that next time I'm going to really do really well. So, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe because you're seeing what you like. And share the video. It really helps me out if you guys share the video. Share it to your Facebook pages. Share it to your friends. Through email, through text, however you want to do it. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Until next time.